Sometimes I can be a huge productivity freak. Look at this. Look at this. I've got the uh, uh, oh, I've got adapters charging. I've got the uh, highlighter. Look at this. Look at this. And in a recent surge of desire to increase my productivity, I've searched all over the internet to find the best productivity apps for a MacBook. I've downloaded hundreds of apps and used them all. And here are some of the best macOS productivity apps that will help you get more things done in way less time. Let's begin, shall we? Todoist is a fantastic app that can be a game changer when it comes to staying organized and getting things done. One of the best things about Todoist is its simplicity. It has a clean and intuitive interface that makes it super easy to use. I can create tasks with due dates, set reminders, and even add labels or priorities to stay extra organized. With Todoist, I can create and manage my to-do lists in a snap, whether it's for work, school, or personal tasks. I can jot them down and keep them all in one place. No more sticky notes scattered all over my desk or forgetting important stuff. But here is where Todoist really shines. It's incredibly flexible and adaptable to any workflow. You can create projects and subtasks so you can break down big tasks into manageable steps. This helps me tackle daunting projects and stay focused on what needs to be done. And the best part, Todoist syncs seamlessly across all your devices. So whether I'm in my Mac, uh, iPhone or even a remote web browser, I have access to my to-do list anytime, anywhere. Oh, and did I mention collaboration? To do this lets me share lists with others so we could work together on projects or delegate tasks for even more productivity. Another app that I can call productivity related is Bartender. Are you like me and your menu bar always appears to be cluttered with a gazillion icons? Well, Bartender swoops in to save the day. It's all about keeping the menu bar neat and organized just the way I like it. With Bartender, I can easily hide all those pesky little icons so that they won't annoy me with their presence. But Bartender doesn't just hide icons, it keeps them accessible with a single click. So if you need to access that app's menu or see its notifications, you can simply click on three dots and voila, all the icons get revealed. Bartender is fully customizable and you can put app icons into three categories. Always visible, hidden, and always hidden. It's super convenient if you have service apps that run in the background all the time. There is no reason to click on the menu bar icon. This setup is super easy and even a kid can figure it out. Bartender works its magic behind the scenes, staying unobtrusive but useful. For me, it's like a trusty sidekick that keeps my max menu bar tidy and reduces distractions. So if you're tired of menu bar mayhem and want to take control of those mischievous icons, give Bartender a try. Now, how about some mood boarding and mind mapping? Scrintle is not only a first class mind mapping app, but also the partner of this video. Scrintle's visual boards are designed to be the perfect canvas for mapping out complex projects, building processes, planning, studying, and researching. You can create mind maps, flowcharts, diagrams, or any visual representation that helps you bring clarity and structure to your projects. The app provides a range of tools and features that enable you to capture, range, and link concepts effortlessly. And Scrintle's visual boards are not only visually engaging, but also highly practical. You can collaborate with other Others in real time, making it an ideal platform for team projects and group brainstorming sessions. Everyone can contribute, share their insights, and build upon each other's ideas. Whether you are a student, a professional, or anyone with a passion for organizing and developing ideas, Scrintle is a game changer. So if you're ready to take your brainstorming and idea development to the next level, give Scrintle a try by clicking the link in the description for a special discount. And now to the next app that I find absolutely absolutely essential to being productive is Moom. Do you hate that feeling when your windows are all over the place and you're constantly resizing and rearranging them? Yeah, I hate that too. To stay productive, I often multitask and work with multiple windows, but window management in macOS is abysmal. Well, Moom swoops in to save the day. With this little app, I can finally manage all windows effortlessly, resize them, position them and all in a few clicks. 
Moon basically can replace the standard window management controls that exist in macOS. I can maximize a window to fill the entire screen or snap it to a specific portion of the screen like the left or right half. It's perfect for all of you, my fellow multitasking geeks out there who want to have multiple apps side by side without the hassle of manual resizing. But the app wouldn't have been so good if it didn't have one ace up its sleeve. You can create custom resize options, so if you have a specific setup for your work, like having a text editor and a window browser side by side with a specific ratio, you can save that layout. And later, when you need it, just hover over the resize button and select the custom resizing. So yeah, this app is fantastic. I love it. Balance is the next app that I liked, and it's not like any other time tracking app. This app is all about finding the delicate work-life balance, hence the naming. What do you expect from a time tracking app? Probably you imagine the app that tracks individual apps you use and gives you the summary at the end of the day, right? Many apps do that, and it's a great way to get detailed insights into your day. But those apps do nothing really to help you balance your life. This app, on the other hand, is different. It is much more manual. You have to manually check in or check out from activities, clock in and out of sessions. You know those old punching clocks? Yeah, the idea is the same. By being manual, the app manages to introduce that action that separates work from leisure. And that makes switching to a chill mode or work much easier. The app will remind you to take breaks, which is quite helpful for people who can't deeply focus on something. This app is great, and after I started using it, I've been feeling more relaxed after work. I think in a month or two, I'll finally reach that balance. What I also find productive is simplifying processes, and the one process that I find super annoying that needs simplifying is working with heavy images. You know how on all websites there is a size limit for photos you upload? Well, normally, you go online Online, upload a photo to a special service and then get it shrunken down. But this way, the photo stays in someone's possession, your data from that photo gets stolen. But with Image Optim, we can say goodbye to that. With Image Optim, you can easily drag and drop your images onto the app and it goes to work behind the scenes, compressing them without sacrificing visual quality. The app uses advanced compression algorithms to find the sweet spot between reducing the file size and maintaining image quality. It also strips unnecessary metadata from your images, such as EXIF data, which can further reduce file sizes. To me, this may not be the app I use every single day, but it does make my life easier. And when I do need smaller photos, I don't have to worry about uploading photos somewhere and giving away my metadata. Image Optim is always there for me. Maybe you should try it too. Tell me, how often do you use keyboard shortcuts? Probably not very often. And I suspect the reason for that is how hard it is to remember all of them. Well, I wish there was an app that explained keyboard shortcuts. Cheat Sheets is the app for that. It's perfect for those moments when you want to perform a specific action in an app, but can't remember the shortcut. All you need to do is hold down the command key on your Mac's keyboard for a few seconds and voila! A handy overlay appears on your screen displaying a list of available shortcuts for the active app. Even for me, a seasoned macOS user, this app comes useful all the time. It is simply impossible to remember all the shortcuts, so be sure to try it, okay? It works in the background and doesn't slow down your Mac. Next up, PDF Element. For many people, working with PDFs is an essential and unavoidable part of the workflow, and many Mac users do everything in the standard preview app, which is severely underpowered. For example, the preview app doesn't let you edit text in PDFs. That's basically how I came across PDF Element. With this app, I can easily modify text, change fonts, adjust formatting, and even resize and rearrange elements within my PDFs. PDF Element offers a wide range of annotation tools that allow me to highlight text, add comments, draw shapes, and insert sticky notes. So anytime I need to give my feedback on a document that needs signing, I can can easily do that with PDF element. What's more, if I receive a scanned document in PDF, I can recognize the text in it in a click. Or if I need to edit a template found online, this app can delete watermarks. This is really a great and very convenient way to edit PDF files, but that's not everything. PDF element also provides powerful conversion features. You can convert PDFs to various formats like Word, Excel, PNG, JPEG, and so on and vice versa. It's 
it's perfect for extracting content or repurposing information from PDFs. I can do it even in batches, which is super useful. I wish I had an app like this when I was a student. Anyway, try it out. Productivity and macOS go so well together and there still are many apps that can make you more organized and productive. To find out about more great apps, watch other videos on this channel. Give us a like if you like this video, subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace.